Hello everyone, uh, my coat is finished and I wanted to cover some details and techniques that went into making this coat because uh, there's quite a few of them and uh, I think everything has been covered up to the point of maybe setting the collar and collar stand into the body and I also used the overlapping and stitching on the edge on one side and then on the edge of the other side. Um, could probably throw a bar tack here for some stabilization as well. Uh, let's see, this is what it looks like in the back. Uh, I think the, de the main detail of this coat is the waistline and it's about three quarters that are set into half an inch so um i was thinking that it could probably also use um maybe a rope as an insertion in order to have a nicer shape but it works um it works the way it is and this is my let's see the waistline from the inside so these lines are about half an inch apart now i didn't do the math when i was doing this pattern and i was kind of eyeballing it and saying like oh let's see what's gonna come out i just wanted to make sure that i have some in the front i wanted to maybe have some flat uh, panel uh, on the side and then whatever it took from the center back to the side seam and let me show you more details from the inside and this is what it looks like from the inside so every seam that was flat was sealed with the seam sealing tape it's actually pretty flexible and i was able to bond or seal the pockets to the main body of the coat you could see it's already getting dirty from jeans rubbing off against it now this part i didn't want to bond i wanted to have a little bit more stabilization in a way like this is a grow grain that i used in this part and then it's sealed into the front facing again a uh, grow grain on the armhole I have open the seam the shoulder seam and again um, sealed with the tape there is a back facing that's also sealed the vent it's kind of like a regular ham it's the same thing in the, um, on the sleeve as well and I use that glue interweb glue uh, in order to seal the ham just like what I did for the front lapel and collar and then I use the sealing tape to finish it all up so it looks very clean you don't see any edges and uh, I wanted to make one note this is what I'm not extremely happy with is that it's relatively soft and what it does is that it almost keeps the shape like whatever I fold it to it keeps it pretty well which is a good and bad thing at the same time so I wish it was a little bit sturdier um, other than that uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out oh and I wanted to make one more note let me flip the coat back to the front and this is what I wanted to mention about the color and lapel shape more about the lapel shape so the color will be in its own place it didn't need any extra pressing in order to stay where it is but lapel needed to be pressed like i needed to find a roll line and i needed to press it but in order not to create any creases or bubbles here you can't just fold it and press it flat i needed to find something around um, i literally had a round stick on hand and when i was pressing it i would put this 
along the row line and then I would press it and it came out really good so I've been wearing it for what about three weeks right now I don't see any distortions it keeps the place I mean it keeps its shape so it's kind of a success as far as this and um, just uh, for you guys if you wanted to follow this or if you are doing something similar I am putting all of this in the highlights so you can refer to this project from the beginning to the end and of course reach out to me if you have any additional questions